Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to do the books are probably never read tag. So this tag was created by Little Spider 9 and I was tagged by my lovely friend Katie Loves to Read and I was so happy that she did it a few days ago just because I didn't have any ideas for today's video and I have to do so much work for uni but I still wanted to post a video today. So this came at a very great time and I love these types of videos when you get to talk about the books that you just don't want to read. The first question is a really hyped book you're not interested in reading. For me this is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. I actually started reading this book at the end of last year. I got an audiobook for it and I just couldn't get into it at first and everyone said that you had to get through that first part to get to the good part but I just wasn't feeling it so I stopped listening to it. But then everything about this book's racism came out. I'm going to leave the article in the description. There were a lot of really insensitive things that were happening in this book with a lot of cultural appropriation that was just poorly represented. His response was really insensitive too and even though I wasn't a big fan of Jay Kristoff, that actually was really disappointing when authors act in a very harmful way when criticism is directed at their book. A series you won't start or you won't finish. This has to be the Bone Season series by Samantha Shannon. I actually read the first book and I thought it was very imaginative and unique and I really liked it but then I just don't want to support a series that is so ingrained in a slave and master relationship. When I read this book I actually didn't even know that that is the way this book was going or that is the path this book was going. I actually had no idea that there were any romantic feelings between these characters but then it happened and it, I wasn't on board with it but I wasn't against it either but then I realized that it was a slave and master relationship and everything is so dehumanizing in that relationship just because of the way the slaves are treated in that book. I don't know, there are a lot of problematic things that surround that book and I didn't even love this book that much just to feel like remorseful or bad about not finishing the series. I feel like my time could be spent in a much more positive way. A classic that you're just not interested in reading. If you don't know, I've read a lot, a lot of classics during my life. I've even read things like Anna Karenina and Crime and Punishments and I don't have anything against like Russian literature. I've actually really liked the things that I've read from that, but I just feel like I'm never going to read War and Peace by Nia Tolstoy. It's such a big book <laughs> and I wish I could give you more excuse than that, but it's just a really big book that I'm just not interested in spending so much time in that book. I don't even know if that book is good or not. I don't know anyone who actually has read that book. <laughs> and then there are a few like United States classics like The Catcher in the Rye and The Lord of the Flies that I feel like I've read at some point in my life but I've forgotten everything about it. I don't get what the hype is with those types of books and I'm just not interested in reading them. Any genres you never read? I actually read things from most genres. The thing I read the least is horror and I don't even know why is that because I actually like horror. I like playing horror video games. I think they are so much fun but I just feel and this comes from a very ignorant place because I haven't read much horror in my life but I just feel like horror is much more appreciated when it's visual but that might be me talking about inexperience so yeah horror is a genre that I never read and self-help is I would never read anything from self-help there is nothing that I hate more than people telling me what to do to enjoy my life more or be happy or those things that are so arbitrary that could be anything you know you're not going to be happy if you drink water like I just I just can't with self-help books. A book on your shelf you never actually read. That is Trilby by George Du Maurier. I actually have no idea what this book is about. I just picked it up from a random place and it was in English. And I never find books in English just walking around. So that's why I got it, but I have no idea what it's about and I don't want to read it. <laughs> okay, that's everything for today. Hope you liked this. If you didn't subscribe and I will see you when I see you. Bye!